Well, I think my parents always wanted to call me Bertie, but they um they didn't want me to sort of to end up with Bertie as my official name in case I didn't like it. So they went for Robert, and then I could be Rob or Robbie or Bob. Uh, except everyone in America calls it says Bertie instead, which <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm not so used to yet. So. My name's Bertie Bajant. I'm the assistant conductor of the Colorado Symphony. Originally, I'm from Oxford in England, um, and then I went to university in Cambridge, and then I studied for a conducting master's at the Royal Academy of Music in London. And I've just moved to Denver, and I'm really excited to be beginning my position with the Colorado Symphony. All of my family, my, both my parents and my younger brothers and various aunts and uncles have all um, enjoyed music and all played instruments themselves. I think I'm probably the first uh, professional musician from my family, but growing up, my parents started me off on the cello at a very young age, and the piano we all sang in our local church choir. Um, and it's, it was just a part of my life for really for as long as I can remember. Originally, I thought I was going to be a composer, um, but I realized actually that what I really enjoyed was working on my pieces once they'd been written with the players. And I kind of realized that just sitting in my room writing music for hours and hours each day was not actually that much fun. So conducting and working with real people is, is much more what I enjoy doing. I think my favorite thing about conducting is the moment when the music sort of steps off the page and suddenly it's something that's really living between you and the performers and the audience. And there's a wonderful experience to be able to, to shape that music as you, as you want it and as you feel it. I've taught at a university um, before and um, I've also worked with a number of youth orchestras um, in England, so notably with my own youth orchestra, which was the Oxfordshire County Youth Orchestra. And so there I, um, that was actually where I started conducting. And so their conductor was my first teacher. Um, and through um, the experiences I had there, taking rehearsals, doing masterclasses, I um, just grew in confidence as a conductor and it became something really special to me. I think um, what's really amazing about youth orchestras is the immense energy that they have and that we come to music fresh and you can really focus on bold new interpretations of it and I think really presenting a new take on familiar pieces is something that's really exciting and that I'm really looking forward to. Because of my work as a composer, I tend to look at scores in a, a very analytic way before I get to them and I think what's, what's sometimes a challenge for me is, is kind of unpicking what the composer's done and then working out how you can present that to the musicians and to the audience in a really compelling way. But equally, I think that's, um, that's a strength and something that can make performances really interesting and exciting and perhaps something a little bit different. Um, so I'm really excited to share that. Well, I think that in order to give a really convincing performance of any piece, you really need to believe as a conductor that the way you do that piece and the way you interpret that piece is the only way the piece can go. And it has to go that way. And I think one needs that real commitment actually to, one, to yourself, to your own ideas. Because if you don't have that yourself, you're certainly not gonna be able to persuade anyone in the orchestra or anyone in the audience that the way you're doing this piece is any good at all. And that's what we all strive for. And we come to our, our concerts and our rehearsals with that commitment. And that's, I think, why you should come and see any of us perform, because we all have different ideas, of course, but they're all really committed ideas and ideas which are gonna persuade you. So come and hear them. What's amazing about Colorado Symphony is the enormous variety of, of shows and concerts that they, they perform in. Um, and so, for instance, things like um, performing a live film score with the movie, that's something that is quite new to me coming from England, but I'm really excited to be engaging with that and, and doing more diverse, a really diverse, broad range of projects with the orchestra. People encounter classical music much more often than they think, so obviously in films and, and television. And there I think it does the, perhaps the thing it's best at doing, which is conveying these emotions between people and, and individually. And off, so often these emotions we can't express with words. And actually to access this crucial part of humanity, I think you have to have music. And that's why the symphony can bring its music to new audiences and so that we can share this amazing thing that orchestral and classical music is. I, For me, certainly all, I think, of my most amazing sort of life-changing experiences have been when either listening to or performing 
music. And I really want everyone to have the chance to have that opportunity. And so whatever the symphony can do to bring that to more people and to go right into the communities and share this amazing thing that we have to offer. The days of concerts where you're told not to clap at particular moments and you've got to dress up, I think they're completely gone. And it's a really welcoming, friendly place. The music, of course, is the main event. But actually, there's there's such a wonderful atmosphere there. But the people are all happy. It's it's just a really uh, warm place to be. When I came to audition for the Colorado Symphony, I was immediately struck by how warm and welcoming all of the the staff were, but also the musicians as I was rehearsing them um, during my audition. And for instance, I I asked if the strings could change the sound of their tone at one point, and immediately there was a huge response to it, and it's really it was a, an amazing experience. I suddenly felt that this was a place I could feel really at home and really comfortable with, and I think that support and um, generosity from the musicians is something that makes the Colorado Symphony really special, and one of the reasons why it's such a great place to work. Well, I guess anyone who's moving to Denver's got to be excited by the mountains, um, and so. Oxford, where I'm from, is probably as far from any mountains as you can get in England. So that's going to be a really exciting thing for me to go up, try some skiing, some hiking. Um, and then it's just beautiful to wake up every morning and to be able to see them. And in England, I'm a very keen cricketer. Um, and so I, I'm going to look around in Denver, see if I can find um, some cricket to be playing. But I think um, in general, things, other sports like tennis, and actually I really enjoy walking and hiking as well. So there's plenty of opportunity for that, I'm sure, in, in Colorado. So I'm very excited to get outdoors and to experience all the, the sort of beautiful national parks and nature and everything that this, this state has to offer. I think the thing about moving to any new country is that you've got to be prepared to throw yourself in to the, the new culture, to the new people, to the new ways of life. And leaving England, I think people have been telling me, just jump straight in. I mean, for instance, use American spelling straight away as soon as you get here. Um, and I think actually just throwing myself in, meeting new people and having new experiences is going to be the way that I'll really enjoy my first, well, all my time in Denver. Thank you.